you've been lifted up amongst hundreds and hundreds and thousands of volunteers as our national champion this year, Luana. There's no question the impact uh, that you have there in Prescott and at the Marley House and um, you know the difference that you make in the lives of so many families there is just incredible. You've been volunteering in hospice since 1981. Just an incredible service to the community and I just cannot thank you enough. So congratulations. Luana Mangold is uh, what most of us around our office call her a saint. She's just uh, been an example of not just a volunteer, but just a great person uh, volunteering here the last dozen years, playing her heart for people, meeting people where they're at, offering her total self. She just exhibits that sense of a calling and courage. I mean, the courage of an 87-year-old gal uh, lugging her harp in here and playing for people. Um, she's just been such a blessing to so many here. I thought uh, if I could be with somebody through music, you know, that uh, that's a real beautiful connection. And harp strings do go clear to your bones, clear to your heart and soul. Luana is a treasure in the fact that she chooses our hospice. To be able to minister with her heart to our patients is a privilege. Our clinical staff does the care. I make sure everything runs smoothly, but she's the one who's there in the very final moments many times, helping the family and the patient. But usually I just strum. I usually take my little psalter, or psaltery it's called, the very, it's some very small harp, and I'll take it bedside and I like for it to touch their skin, if possible, to feel the vibrations. And I just strum that. And then you can either quote verses, a psalm, or say anything you want to help them uh, on their transition. They're being called home, and many times they, they will open their eyes when they hear that strumming. It's very light strumming, and I call it cloud music. So it's like you're going through the clouds, going on your journey. My mom was here. She, she was on hospice for uh, I want to say maybe a year or more. My mom had Alzheimer's, and there were some things that really, really made her happy. And music was one of those things. And so it was really special to know that she was being not just cared for by Marley House, but also that Luana was there to be able to minister to her with her music. Recently, Luana uh, said that she is retiring from her heart playing her presence has been a steady, uh, really angelic presence here, especially over at the Marley House, our hospice inpatient unit, where she has played weekly for many years. I thank you very much that you thought that much of me and that, uh, that you're seeming to enjoy it as much as I am. She has invested so much of her time and she has done so much with her life. She chooses us to minister with her music to our patients. And that speaks volumes to her heart and to who she is. Mm -hmm.